Welcome back investors to Ticker Time News. I'm Adam and today we're talking about MarineMax, ticker symbol HZO. MarineMax is the biggest yacht and recreational boat seller in North America and it's now too cheap to be ignored. The recreational boating industry is currently experiencing very positive tailwinds with expanding margins and growing revenues. This happened because the pandemic boosted outdoor recreational activities and sales. Even though the market recognized this trend and the stock went on an impressive rally, right now it has been sold down while the market is assuming that recent growth won't last. Like many other post-COVID plays, this company is assumed to have had a one-time revenue boost for 2020 or at best 2021 too. But this is just not the case for Marine Max's sales growth. It is here to stay. This is because of its strong competitive advantage, high quality brand, high focus on the client experience, digitalization of its business model and strategic acquisitions. If similar to 2020-2021 growth materializes, even in 2022, the stock will skyrocket because the market is definitely not expecting that. The company is priced like it's going to have half of the current revenues in 2022, but that's just not the case. From 2015 to 2020, revenues grew by 12% annually and the operating margin went from 5% in 2018 to 7% in 2020. While one-time pandemic-related revenues played a major role in this trend, MarineMax is well positioned to benefit from persistent growth in its industry. At this point, the question is simple. Who should benefit more than the biggest player in the space? MarineMax is the biggest player. A proper conclusion is that last year's boom of sales is here to stay and for 2022 as well, along with very positive economic forecast of a strong recovery. Another important aspect is the diversification of Marine Max's business model. With the introduction of secondary and higher margin services, in 2020, 70% of revenues were from new boat sales while the other 30% was composed of used boat sales, service, repairs, storage, parts, and accessories. These services provide much better margins and improve the customer's overall experience and boost recurring revenue. It's reasonable to conclude that this shift won't stop and will benefit MarineMax in two ways. It could act as a hedge in case of declining revenues and a boost to margin. Are you finding value in this video? Then the best thing that you can do is like this video, share this video, and subscribe to join our family of investors. Because we don't have the big marketing budgets of the mainstream finance media, so your help is greatly appreciated. Now, let's get back into it. It's always hard to identify competitive advantages and brand quality unless they are too big to be ignored. But in the case of Marine Max, we're looking at a company operating in a very precise market, and it's also the biggest one in its sector. For reaching this status, management invested in two main things, consumer experience and strategic acquisitions. Since Marine Max has a solid balance sheet, it can opt for acquisitions to boost brand recognition and diversify its business model. From April 2019 to October 2020, Marine Max has acquired six companies from smaller boat dealerships to private insurance companies. This will be reflected on valuation as margin expansion. Another margin expansion driver will be digitalization. The company developed a new app for their customers that will efficiently automate many small aspects from scheduling to monitoring and paying. 
This will lead to improved cost structure, driving down expenses. MarineMax is also betting on Boatyard, a pioneering on-demand digital platform that connects marinas, boat owners, and service providers. The market is not expecting MarineMax to succeed in growing revenues at the current speed and in improving margins. The idea is that Wall Street has a distorted view of the situation and MarineMax will succeed in maintaining good revenue growth and also improving margins, thanks to a renewed mix of services. The fair price share for MarineMax is between $95 and $85, implying a potential upside of more than 80%. Now, what do you think of MarineMax opportunities? Let me know in the comments. And as always, if you've watched till the end, you my friend are totally awesome. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.